What's up guys, Filterless here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to update to the latest AMD graphics drivers. There was one released on the 19th of October and it's actually been working great. The reason you might wanna try this out is if you're having any weird crashes or someone left a comment, I even tried it out, Resident Evil Village would not even load, it just had a black screen and this new driver fixes that. I tested out a bunch of games and they're all pretty similar. And in Forza Horizon 5, that was one where I saw it go from 48 FPS to 56 with this new driver so if you're having any problems or you even want to try it out this will be the video for you all right moving on to the tutorial section we're going to go ahead and install that driver from amd the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your browser we're going to go to google and then down here we're just going to type in amd drivers and then you're gonna click this first link that says AMD drivers and support. I'll also have this direct link right here down in the description if you wanna jump straight to this page. We're gonna scroll down a little ways and we need to click on processors with graphics. Then we're gonna click on AMD Ryzen processors. We need to click on AMD Ryzen 7 processors with Radon graphics. Then off to the right, we're looking for this AMD Ryzen 7 7840U. So click on that. Then we're just gonna click this submit button. In here, we just need to click on Windows 11 to have it drop down. We need to scroll past this auto detect and install section down to this AMD software adrenaline edition section. You'll see the revision number here, which is 23.10.2. We have our file size. And then we also have the release date, which is October 19th. So go ahead and just click on this download button to get it downloading. And then once it's done downloading, we're just gonna click on it to open it up. And we'll just click yes here. You'll see this AMD software initializing install screen pop up for a second. And then we are gonna get an error on this screen right here once it's done. And it's just gonna say error 182, oops, something went wrong. And that's fine because all we needed to do was extract the files, which we did. So we can go ahead and click on close. Then you wanna go ahead and click on the start menu button and we're gonna type in device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Once that's open, over on the left-hand side, we're gonna see display adapters and a little arrow next to it. So click on that to expand it and you'll see AMD Radon Graphics. We need to right click on that and then click on update driver. Then we're gonna click on browse my computer for drivers at the bottom. Then we need to click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer at the bottom. And over here at the right side, we're going to click on have disk. This is to locate those files that extracted earlier. We're going to click on the browse button here, then click on this PC on the left hand side. Then we're going to click on local disk C, so our C drive. We navigate into this AMD folder right here, then AMD software installer. We're going to go to packages, then we click on drivers, and then we're clicking on display. Open up the WT6A folder. And then down here at the very bottom, you will see a U and then some number .inf. And what we're looking for is the .inf piece. So if the number doesn't match, it doesn't matter because you might be on a newer driver. So all you're looking for is that INF. And once you've located it, just click on that to open it. And now that we have that selected, we just need to click on OK. This is going to populate a huge list of drivers. We want to scroll all the way up to the very top. And then we're just gonna scroll down a little ways. And what we're looking for is right here where it says AMD Radon TM 780M graphics. And you wanna be really careful to make sure you choose the one that has graphics at the end. Once you have this selected, we're just gonna click on the next button. It's gonna say installing this device driver is not recommended. Just click on yes. And right here, it's installing the driver. Your screen will probably flash while this is happening. And then you should see this that says Windows has successfully updated your drivers. So we're just gonna close out of this window. And then we can go ahead and close out of device manager. Now there is one other thing we need to do. If we click on the start menu button, which you don't have to do this, and we try to open AMD software, you will see it actually is not going to work. We're gonna get this error right here. And it's letting us know that the AMD control panel doesn't match the drivers since we only updated the driver. So now we're gonna need to update that control panel. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So to update the control panel, we need to remove the old one first. So we're gonna come down to the start menu button, click on that, and we're gonna type in remove, and you wanna click on add or remove programs. That's gonna bring up this list right here. AMD should be at the top or really close to it. We need to click these three little dots off to the right and then click on uninstall. And then we just click uninstall here and it's gonna take a minute. You'll see it says uninstalling and then you should see it say uninstalled right here and then it will just disappear shortly after. 
So we can go to close this out. Now we need to come down here, right click on the start menu button. We're gonna go to file explorer. On the left hand side, we're gonna click on this PC and we need to click on our C drive, the local disk drive. We're gonna open up the AMD folder and then AMD software installer. Then we're gonna open up the packages folder. We're gonna click on the drivers folder. We need to open the display folder then the WT6A folder. And we're gonna come down to this folder that starts with a B that has a number and yours might be different if you're on a later version. So you're just looking at the file that would start with a B and have some numbers after it. So go ahead and open that. Then there's gonna be a lot of files in here. We're gonna to have to scroll down until we see CCC2. And you'll see right here, it has CCC2 underscore install. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that to run it. Just click on yes here. And this is going to extract and install the control panel. So that's what this is installing right now. So we'll be able to get into that AMD software. You should see completed right here. You're just going to close it out. And since we just updated the driver, we're going to go ahead and restart our computer. So go ahead and just restart. Now, when you go to right click on your desktop, you will see the AMD options not there. All we need to do is click on show more options and you'll see it in here. And then as soon as we click on that to open it, next time we just right click, it will show up. And for this screen, I always do skip this step. There's options it enables with quick setup that I don't like. And then here we can see we're on 23.10.2, which shows the release of 16 October on AMD site. It does show 19, but this is the latest driver from AMD and you should be good to go. So we'll go ahead and jump into rolling back the driver in case you don't like this driver and you want to get back to the Asus drivers. All right, so if you want to roll back, it is actually really easy to do extremely fast. We're going to click on the start menu button down here. We're going to type in my Asus and go ahead and open that up. Then right here under customer support, we just click this white square. Then we're going to go up to latest at the top. You want to make sure show the latest version updates available is unchecked so we can see all of the drivers and software in here. And then we're just going to scroll down a little ways and you will see graphics. As of the making of this video, there's only going to be two graphics drivers in here. And if you can't see the version like I can't see here, you can just hover over it for a second and it will actually pop up and show you. This is the 0.60021. And then right below that, we have the 0.4002, which was released in July. So it's the older driver. I know some people had issues with that 6002, but you can choose either one you want. These are both the Asus drivers. I'm going to go ahead and choose the 4002 one. So I'm going to come over here to the right and we just need to click this download arrow. I'm going to save it to the desktop and then make sure you leave the My Asus app open while you see this spinning because it is downloading right now. And it'll change to this folder icon once it's done. So you can click on that to open the folder or I'm just going to close out of both of these windows since I know I saved it on the desktop. And then right here is the Asus driver. Before we install this, we need to actually remove a folder. So we're going to come down to the start menu button and right click on it. Go to file explorer. We're going to click on this PC. We're going to go to our C drive. We're going to go into this drivers folder right here. And then you might need to drag this bar to be able to see the full name here, but we're looking for the AMD graphic driver only folder. So once you find that, you're going to want to click the little checkbox on the left. And we're going to go ahead and delete this out of here because we're about to extract another one just to make it a bit easier. You can leave the BIOS updates and other folders in there if you'd like. All right, then we can go ahead and click on this new driver to run it. You just click yes on this screen, click OK, and we got to click next next for I accept the agreement. And then we don't want to install. We actually want to click extract. So we're going to extract the files and then go ahead and click on next next again. And then we'll click next one more time. You can see that drivers folder right here where it's going to be extracting it. Then just click on install and it's not actually installing. As you can see, it's just going to extract the files. Once that's done, we can click on finish and then we need to go back to that folder. So we right click start menu button, file explorer, this PC, our local C drive. We have our drivers folder. And then right here, you'll see the AMD graphic folder. And it's the 4002 is the one I downloaded, but just open that folder up. And then down here at the very bottom, we just need to click on this setup. We click yes on this screen. You're going to see the AMD Adrenaline software come up. This is a little different from if you were to install it with the Asus installer, which doesn't downgrade that AMD control panel. That's why we're using this method. You will even see up here it's showing it's an install downgrade and shows you the version. You can do a factory reset. Some people like doing this. If you're running into any issues, you might want to do that. However, I found I usually don't have to do that and haven't had any issues. So that's really up to you. I'm just going to leave that unchecked and we're going to click on install down here at the bottom right. 
You'll see this screen, it's just gonna take a minute or two for it to install the driver as well as that control panel and your screen will probably flash during this install, so don't worry about it. And you'll see right here, AMD Software Adrenal Edition, which is why we use this. It's installing that older control panel that's compatible with this version and it just finished. So now let's go ahead and restart the computer. And once the computer is done restarting, we can right click on the desktop and select AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. And then if you don't see this down at the bottom, you can click on show more options and then you can open it from here. If you don't see it in here, then you might wanna check this little arrow down at the bottom right to see if it's in there. You can see right here, it's actually not on mine. You can also click on the start menu button and type in AMD and then we can see AMD software right there. So go ahead and open that up and then we can just click this gear icon up at the top right. Make sure we're on the system tab. Then you can see here we're on the older version from the 20th of July. And that's pretty much it for downgrading if you do want to try out those newer AMD drivers. Now, whether you are upgrading, downgrading, or reinstalling the graphics driver, it will erase 900p. So you will need to get that again. As you can see here, if we go to display settings, you will see we only have the 720p 1080, which is what the Ally comes with. However, I found 900p to be pretty useful. I will have a link down in the description for this registry file that you can run to add it. I will also have a link to a video discussing 900p along with a lot of benchmarks showing how much of an FPS bump you can get. And simply just clicking on this file, clicking on run, clicking yes, and then clicking yes right here, and then clicking OK and restarting the computer should add it back so we can go to display settings now that's restarted scroll down a little ways and you can see there we've got our 1600 by 900 our 720p and 1080p in there anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did consider hitting the like button and i will see you on the next one peace